Loving the booty round, booty down for the booty. I want the booty, hunting the booty, chasing the booty, casing the booty, getting the booty, beautiful booty, smoking booty, talk to the booty, more booty, fine booty. Hi. Hello. Hola, como esta? Muy bien. E2. That's all the Spanish I know. Hello, friends. If you've never heard of me, my name is Richie or Social Repose. I'm a YouTuber, singer, songwriter, slash unique, beautiful snowflake. And you can find all my social media and my channel link in the description below. Now the topic on my digital escape this week is what to do when you go to concerts, or more specifically, Warp Tour, since it's coming up this summer in a couple months. Oh my god. It's so close. So, first things first, you're the realist. You definitely want to try and show up before the gates open. I learned this the hard way the last year because I really wanted to see the ready set, and unfortunately Jordan played at 11.45 and I showed up at like 1 or 2 and I missed him. So don't let that happen to you, show up early. Now you guys don't have to do this one, but I'm definitely planning on doing it. The first thing I do when I go through the gates is challenging Ronnie Radke to a arm wrestling contest. And if for some crazy reason he beats me, I'm gonna sue him. For emotional damages. Now Ronnie, I know this looks bad, but I don't want your money. I'll settle for a feature on your next record. Now another thing I see all the time that kind of bugs me a little bit are people that go right into the festival and blow all their merch money on like the first couple tents they see on their favorite band. Now I get it, the adrenaline's pumping, you really want your merch, it might run out by the end of the day, but just hear me out. Just hear me out for a second, just, just hear me out. There are over 90 acts of Warped Tour this year, and I guarantee you haven't heard or seen all of them play live. You might see one and be absolutely blown away. So while I know you've been eyeballing that Pierce the Veil or Blackville Bride shirt, like, forever. Maybe consider splurging your 20 bucks on a shirt for a small indie band that might need your money a little bit more than the big guys. Yay. Just a thought, don't kill me. Oh, here's a big one. Two. If you're going to partake in alcoholic beverages, now I know a lot of you aren't old enough to do that, but let's just say for some reason you are, and you accidentally have one too many. Please, 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 please be self-aware. Don't vomit on strangers. Don't be that guy being super, uh, and then just talking to everybody you don't know. Hey, look what you got going on there. Thanks. Yeah, we're like best friends now. I got something for you. Oh, that's so sweet. What'd you get for me? These nuts. Ha! Ah! Got he! I'm so sorry for that. Make sure to find the giant schedule billboard thing and see when your favorite bands are playing. That way, if you're super brave, you can try and get there early enough to be in the way front next to the barricade. Just remember that if you want to be all the way up in the front between you, the barricade, and your husband, you have to get there really early. And the really crappy side effect to that is that you might miss other bands in the process or you might get caught between Streetlight Manifesto or Real Big Fish's set. For real though, nobody listens to Sky. Why do they keep coming back? You just gotta be prepared for some major drawbacks and make sure you're well hydrated when you're up there because if you leave you're not gonna be able to get back. You might get demolished by overhead crowd surfers since you're way in the front so just make sure to bring your friends so they can watch your back or your uh, up. Speaking of crowd surfing this one really pisses me off. Don't be that guy feeling up the girls who are having wardrobe malfunctions crowd surfing. You see it all the time, you can't really prevent it, it's summer, you're not wearing a lot of clothing. Your clothes are gonna shift where you don't want them to shift. So ladies and gentlemen, Please don't grope the crowd surfers. Unless you're trying to be a pedophile and a rapist at the same damn time. At the same damn time. And while we're on the topic of physical contact in the crowd, let's talk about moshing. I'm only speaking from personal experience, but just remember how big you are. Don't overestimate yourself. This happens to me mostly whenever I go to like bigger heavy metal shows or there's a lot of big burly dudes. And I forget that while I'm not that short, I'm little and really not that strong. So feel free to go in the pit if you really want to, but just make sure you can handle it. Hmm, that mosh pit over there full of big sweaty dudes seems safe enough. I wanna make a well-informed decision to get inside of it. A couple things you need to make mental notes of when you enter the venue. First, find all the water stations. Warp Tour has these H2O cool little stations where they fill up all your water bottles for free and they're super awesome. Make sure to designate a spot for you to meet all your friends in case your phones die, which they will. And also take note of all the exits in the venue. So you'll know where to go in case of an emergency and you can also make a swift getaway when you decide to kidnap your favorite band. Oh, this is another big one. Two. Don't record the entire festival or show. You gotta make memories with your minds, not your phone, man. Also, I guarantee you the person on either side of you or like 20 people behind you are probably recording the exact same footage so just remember it with your face. Bring earplugs. 
And lastly, but certainly not leastly, don't give a fuck about what other people think of you at the show. You paid your hard-earned money, or your hard-earned parents' money, to go to this huge, amazing festival, and it's there to make you have fun. So if your favorite band starts playing your favorite jams, and you just want to go crazy, you just want to make your friends go crazy, you just want to start dancing like an idiot, do it. Who cares about what other people think? I see so many people at shows wanting to let loose, wanting to have the time of their life during their favorite band set. They're afraid of what everyone else is going to think of them when they start busting out the can opener and voguing all over the place. It's a show. You do what you want. You say what you want. Don't let anyone else tell you not to. Don't be afraid to have fun. Because fun is fun. Well, that's about all I got for this episode. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys at Warp Tour this year. I'll probably be hanging out at some of the dates on the East Coast in the United States. And also in case you were the slightest bit interested in meeting me, I'm going on a mini tour this week. Week, I'm hitting Philadelphia, Greensboro, North Carolina, and Atlanta, Georgia on the Grow Wild Tour. It has Austin Jones, it has I'm Five, it's gonna be a good time. We can dance like idiots together because no one else will do the can opener with me. It's like my best dance move. And also another huge shout out to Brian Stars and the MDE gang for featuring me on their channel once again. It's always a pleasure. Okay, bye.